Good morning kids. In the last class we learnt about types of maps and the difference between globe and map. I hope you all did your activity. Today we will do the exercise of this chapter. You can see in page number 7 there is chapter checklist. You have to take the concepts which you have understood. Now let us move to page number 8. Our first exercise is match the following. Here you can see on one side it is first one cartographer, second compass, third GPS, fourth cardinal direction, fifth yellow and on the other side you can see A global positioning system, B south, C color used to represent desert on a map, D device used to find major directions. E person who makes map. Now kids you have to match it. I hope you all did it. Now let us check the answer. This is the correct answer. Cartographer is a person who makes map. Second compass. It is a device used to find major directions. Third GPS. It is global positioning system. Fourth, cardinal direction is south. Fifth, yellow, it is a color used to represent deserts on a map. I hope you all checked your answer. Our next exercise is fill in the blanks. The first one is, a map is a drawing of the whole of the earth or a part of it on a dash surface. Now you have to fill it. The second is the work of map is called dash. Third is a dash map shows countries, cities, towns and continents. You have to write the correct answer. Fourth, a dash map gives information about a topic or theme such as weather. You have to write the correct answer. Fifth, most maps have a key or a dash. I hope you did it. Now let us check the answer. First one, a map is a drawing of the whole of the earth or a part of it on a flat surface. The answer is flat. Second, the work of making map is called cartography. The answer is cartography. Third, a dash map shows countries, cities, towns and continents. The answer is political map. Fourth, a thematic map gives information about a topic or theme such as weather. And the answer is thematic map. Fifth, most maps have a key or legend and the answer is legend. Now let us move to the third exercise that is rearrange the jumbled words. You can see the words are in jumbled format. You have to arrange it properly. Now let us check the correct answer for this exercise. First word is legend that is L E G E N D. Second is symbols S Y M B O L S. Third one is direction D I R E C T I O N. Fourth is scale S C A L E. Fifth is globe G L O B E. Sixth one is map M A P map. I hope you all corrected your answer. Let us move to the fourth exercise that is write T for true and F for false. The first one is the map that shows physical feature is called a thematic map. Now you have to mark it whether it is false or true. Second is 
the legend of a map states what the map shows mark it whether it's true or false third a map can give detailed information about the smallest area on the earth fourth the color brown is used to show mountains on a map fifth large scale maps shows a lot of detail about a large area i hope you marked your answers now let's check the answer first one is the map that shows physical feature is called a thematic map it is false physical map shows the physical feature of the world second the legend of a map states what the map shows it is false the heading of a map shows the what the map is going to tell us third is a map can give detailed information about the smallest area on earth it is true fourth the color brown is used to show mountains on a map it is true fifth is large scale map shows a lot of details about a large area and the answer is wrong large maps usually shows lot of information about a small area i hope you checked your answer now kids let's move to the next exercise that is answer the following you have to note down your answers in the notebook our first question is why do cartographers use symbols on maps cartographers use symbols on map to give plenty of information in a small space next question is what is a legend a legend explains the meaning of symbols and colors that we use on the map next question is what is legend a legend explains the meaning of the symbols and color that we use on the map third question is what is a physical map a physical map shows the physical features of the earth such as mountains rivers forest and so on fourth question is what is a globe a globe is a model of the earth which shows the true shape of the continents countries cities towns and so on the fifth question is you have to write two advantages of map over a globe so the first advantage is maps are easy to carry around whereas globes are difficult to carry second one we can see all the places on a map at a time but in globe we cannot now let's move to the next exercise that is think it over here the question is how the uber and ola taxis locate our location and the answer is these taxis use gps system the full form is global positioning system here the gps is a space based satellite navigation system it consists of many satellites that orbits around the earth it is made up of satellites ground station and receiver here the gps receiver receives the signal and calculate our distance with the help of the satellite this way it figures out our location so now you have to note it down in your notebook now there is an activity corner here you can see three activities the first one crossword puzzle second drawing activity and third critical thinking discuss it with your parents and do it in your notebook that's all for today we'll meet in the next class thank you